Hey yo, what is going on everybody? Hope all of you are having a fantastic day today. It's your boy DM7. As you guys can see, I'm in my like civvies, I'm in my normal clothes because we've got a port day today. And I don't have a lot of time out, but hopefully I have enough time to do what I want to do. So we're in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, right? It is a balmy 30 degrees outside, and that's 30 degrees Celsius. That's probably about 84 degrees Fahrenheit for all of you guys who are in America. And uh, yeah, we've got about two hours. It is currently like nine o'clock. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get some tacos because we're in Mexico. So obviously why would we not get some tacos? We're gonna try and get a magnet and maybe try and go to the beach. I'm not sure yet, but I've never been out in Mexico. It's my first time going out of Mexico. So I thought I'd bring the camera along, record some of it, and basically just show you guys a little bit of Puerto Vallarta. And guys, I'm just so happy to be in short sleeves. I'm wearing shorts, a t-shirt. I'm so excited to finally go out in public with shorts because I've been in cold weather for the last three months, three and a half months. And it's time to get some, some sunlight and just some warm temperature. So I'm sorry if my eyes are puffy, I'm very, very tired. Uh, I had Daryl today, so I've only slept about a total of four hours. So we're a little bit sleep deprived, but make the most of it. Put some shades on, get out, get some sunlight, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's go out in Puerto Vallarta, shall we? Oh my goodness, it is warm outside, guys. It is, oh, this is very hot. It is very hot, like, jeez, but. Welcome to lovely Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And uh, yeah, it is. But I'm saying, guys, Lord, Lord, is it hot. Like, and it's, it's a very humid hot. It's a very sticky hot. So, oh my Lord, guys, it is ridiculously hot. Like, ridiculously hot. Can you go out here? Oh yeah, it is ridiculously hot. I don't know how to get out of this whole terminal area. And I mean, if you guys can see, I am sweating. I've been outside for like a whole total of like 10 minutes and I'm dying. Like I am dying, it is so hot. Oh my goodness. If this is gonna be the Caribbean, oh, I think I might take the cold of Alaska because this is ridiculous, man. Like, the problem is, like, I'm from South Africa, where it gets pretty warm, but the difference is, it's a very humid heat, a very, very humid heat, a very, very a sticky heat, which makes it a lot more difficult to manage, but nonetheless, um, we... I think find my way out of the terminal area and hopefully we're gonna go get some food and can I tell you one of, the, one of the, my favorite things about carrying a camera around everywhere is the pure fact that nobody bothers me when I have a camera in my hand and they see that I'm recording myself nobody comes up and nobody's bothered me at all which is nice but Guys, guys, why? Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot? But we're all good. We're gonna go get some food because I am starving. I am very, very hungry. And uh, yeah, I'll pick up this vlog soon. Very, very soon. We had to go and get something to drink because I am dying. Like, I am dying, dying. Like, I don't understand how somewhere could be this friggin' hot. Like, oh my God. But, it is very nice. It is very beautiful, kind of. I'm, I'm starting to miss Alaska. I'm starting to miss the cold of Alaska because this is just friggin' ridiculous, man. Like, this is just friggin' mad. 
my shirt is soaking wet like soaking soaking wet but you know what to do but unfortunately um i can't really find anywhere to eat um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the terminal pretty much if you want to call it the terminal um and there's a few places to eat in there so we're gonna go back into the terminal eat somewhere in there and uh yeah probably head back onto the ship because i'm not i'm not here for this kind of weather right now I, it's way too hot like i was if i show you guys my like fuzzy thing my like wind muffle on my uh camera is wet and uh yeah so i'm a little bit worried about my my camera um purely just because of the heat i genuinely don't think the dji was made for this kind of weather and this kind of heat really so yeah i think we'll head back onto the ship after that um i also didn't plan this excursion well not excursion but this little tour out very well i probably should have planned it out a little bit of better better um potentially have gotten a cab or something like that um but we live and we learn we're going to be in mexico for another two days so hopefully for the next one i'll be planned out a bit better but i mean it is what it is we live and we learn so yeah but uh inside the terminal is actually quite nice it's a little market kind of area and a few places to eat and most importantly air conditioning um so yeah let's go back in there i'll show you guys kind of what it looks like um and yeah i know again pretty much a nothing little video but uh yeah it is what it is some videos are good some videos not so good but yeah let's go back inside so are we just going to talk about how this what the fuck this is kind of looks like a lion but like a tiger but like i don't know what this is surely this can't be what what is happening okay 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 so this is for anyone who doesn't believe me as to how hot it is right i don't know if you guys can see this is an hour of walking or less than an hour of walking that is my shirt and it's not fast walking i was walking very 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 slow but um we did get the magnet it was inside so i didn't want to record inside and there a lot of people but there's this little restaurant kind of thing outside and i don't know if they take american because i don't have pesos i only have american so i'm hoping they take american dollars but i'm gonna ask them now if they don't take american then <coughs> there is another little cafe inside um but i kind of wanted to try this one because the prices weren't too bad so let's let's see right let me ask them let's see i'm hoping i'm hoping they take american hi there huh? hi you take american yes american dollars yes okay perfect can i have a table okay they take american mm. okay there was an issue right thank god i heard someone so apparently right and i heard this lady saying it now is that their their exchange rate isn't correct so that's one of the things i'm worried about in 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 Mexico and uh like where we are now is obviously you're going to get a lot more uh like 
scams. Um, so that's why I'm very, very skeptical on well, anything really. But literally in like the five seconds that I was standing there, I heard this lady in Spanish. I, didn't, I don't understand Spanish, obviously, but she was like, the guy showed her a calculator and because she was paying in dollars. And she was like, no, 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 that's not the exchange rate. And he was like, no, that's the exchange rate we give you. So clearly they're not using an actual exchange rate or anything like that, which is slightly annoying, but we're hopefully gonna go inside to this other little cafe and have something to eat inside. And then we're gonna get my ass back to the show because my ass is hot. Like, I just had a shower, and before I go to work, I'm going to have to shower again, because my body is sweating. But, yeah, so, I'm very sorry that this video is kind of a nothing video again. It seems to be a tradition of us having nothing videos, which, unfortunate as it is, um... This one I couldn't really plan out because a lot of my friends were busy and the person that would normally come with me and understands this kind of culture was busy today. So, um, yeah, I couldn't bring him along, but we're going to be going out with him. Uh, I'm hoping tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then next week. And yeah, so. Let's go in here, actually, let's go here and let's order some food because your boy is hungry. Let's see if we can get some food. Hello. Hello. Do you have a menu? Um, menu? Yeah. No, uh, te platico, uh, tortas, quesadillas, sandwich. How much are your quesadillas? Quesadilla, cheese, um, cheese, and 35, yen, uh, 40. American dollars? Uh, no, peso. Oh, okay. Dollar, eh, te lo tomo a 15 pesos. Por ejemplo, si es quesadilla, 35 entre 15. $2. $2? $2. Uh, the queso. El de jam. Uh, okay. $3. I'll have, I'll have the jam. Jam? Okay. Yep. Well, and then one, one. And then what sandwiches do you have? Uh huh. Sandwich, uh, pierna, pork, jam, or mixto. Uh, no, I'll just try the quesadilla for now. Quesadilla. Yeah. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Salad. Ensalada. Salad. Lettuce. Uh, tomato. Um, onion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. You take American dollars? You take it? Yeah. Oh, this is what we're working with. Quesadilla salad. Flip the camera. I do like onions. Not bad. Thank you. Okay. Ah, little snack secured. So that is good. Still, you know, it's not t particularly filling, as I said. Back on board. So the reason and the issue that I didn't go out more is because of the fact that I was alone, obviously. And just outside the port is not the nicest of areas. 
and especially when I'm going out um, in shorts, um, like I've got my pockets with like, you know, I've got my phone, my wallet, my, I've got cash on me, I've got my camera and all of that. And, you know, I, if I'm alone, I'm not really a fan of that. In Alaska, I could do it because Alaska was fairly safe. And San Francisco, I had a hoodie on that had inner pockets so that you couldn't see where anything is. But when you're wearing like shorts like I am now, you can see everything. And I walked outside for a bit and uh, yeah, I was like, you know what, this ain't it. So came back in and it's also just freaking hot, guys. It is crazy hot. But yeah, this one was a really bad video. I'm still going to put it out there because I took the time to record it. So I'll just throw an edit quickly together for it and upload it. But I'm planning some really, really cool stuff um, for when we get to the next route. Because what we're doing right now is called the repositioning. So we're repositioning from Alaska to uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's going to be our new home port. But the route that we're currently doing is we're going from um, Alaska all the way down through the Panama Canal up to Fort Lauderdale. Um, and then we're going from Fort Lauderdale to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And then when we're in, when we're in Puerto Rico, that's going to be our new itinerary. And we're going to be doing the same thing over and over again like we're doing with Alaska, which is really good content wise because it means I can do like I can plan excursions and stuff with the repositioning and stuff like this now it's really difficult because the time off that I have is very limited because the whole team wants to go off obviously so I only have like maybe two hours off which isn't enough time to do like an excursion or anything like that so yeah that's the problem but soon very, very soon, we're going to have some very sick videos coming out. Um, very, very cool videos coming out, if they will work out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, again, nothing video. I, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video coming from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So yeah, hope you guys did all enjoy. As usual, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys all. A little bit later. Peace.